everybody, Backyard Fully in here. Welcome one and all to episode 164 of In Focus Friday, the show where we take a good close look at cool things made of silver or gold. Last week we did just that with some Disney themed coins in the form of Scrooge McDuck, Steamboat Willie and of course the Lion King. If you've not checked that video out there is a link down in the description below, perhaps go and check it out after today's video. Now today we are going to be featuring the latest in the Marvel series coins, Captain America and the Hulk. Interesting series to say the least and um, having done a bit of research here today to get uh, this video prepared, you see all of the different uh, coins in the series to date mention it was a six coin series and indeed the all of the sort of marketing material that you see on various different bullion dealers websites you see that captain america it says was the sixth and final release in the marvel series but we've now got the hulk which is the seventh release in the series so that's an interesting thing i don't know whether i'm just misinterpreting this but it's not just on one dealer's website it's on multiple dealers and uh, you know the previous coins in the series uh, have had six as a kind of you know six as that number that's been bandied around as what to expect from the series. Of course those previous ones include Spider-Man, Thor, Black Panther, Iron Man, Deadpool and of course Captain America. Now we've got the seventh, the Hulk, and that's an interesting thing. So we'll talk about that a little bit in this video, but first let's just admire these two uh, coins and their designs. Now I have been I think relatively critical of these coin series. I've felt that they're a bit of a fad. I think they're just you know being <clears throat> part of the kind of collecting in on the madness that has been all around the Marvel series with the Avengers and uh, the big films, obviously the big uh, massive films out there for these and it's an interesting one to see this uh, this coin series because these are these are high premium coins, there's no doubting about it, you know, they are uh, and they weren't quite as high premium at the start which is a, you know, I suppose a good thing that they are still growing in premium, holding their premiums and, um, you know, you can definitely see the financial potential implications uh, or, you know, incentives for stackers and collectors and investors to pick them up and purchase them. But uh, ultimately, I still do think that they are a little bit of a kind of a fad style, uh, you know, coin. They really are just cashing in on that kind of Marvel uh, universe and the success that the movies have had on that. Personally, I'm not a huge fan of that kind of Marvel Universe series. I thought the films were were quite fun to start with, but they just got more and more complex and complicated and just so was so much going on, so much action going on that it was really almost too too much for the brain to follow and I lost interest. And I know there are a lot of people who out out there who love those franchises and love those films, but um yeah, for me it's not holding a great deal of sort of sway but there is undoubtedly a huge following of people out there in this world who love comics who I mean I'm a, I'm a comic person myself I love uh, you know the old school comics but uh, I'm no huge collector by any stretch but that doesn't mean that I'm gonna rush out and buy these Marvel coins now here we have Captain America let's talk about Captain America first so let me get my uh, marketing bump out so Captain America the alter ego of Steve Rogers we all, if you know the stories, know what he has. Uh, he was basically a super soldier as part of a secret World War II era US Army project, and he then, uh, you know, basically was uh, sent forward through time through basically being frozen in ice to the modern world to join the rest of the Avengers and be that Captain America. And he's got obviously uh, his shield, his famous shield there, and the star, and his outfit looks really cool. Of course, uh, the, the sort of Star Spangled Banner in the background, really very cool indeed. And there's no doubting it's a very pretty coin, of course, made by the Perth Mint. All of these are uh, Tuvalu coins, but made by the Perth Mint. So uh, they are very, very high quality, and that's one thing that is in their favour. There is no doubting that the standard and finish of these coins are exemplary, and uh, I really do think that's one thing that's very much in their favour. Mintage wise as well is also something that's very good. They have a mintage of only 50,000 per piece which is of course a really low mintage in the grand scheme of things certainly compared with things like last week's Disney coins of 250,000 and arguably these are much better quality and uh, aesthetically pleasing as well and they've got perhaps a larger kind of cult following so to speak. Not that comic book uh, readers are cultists but you know what I mean. Next up then we have 
Hulk in the series. Now, Hulk is, of course, the alter ego of Dr. Bruce Banner, who gets angry and turns into a big green machine. And uh, I think this is probably one of my favourites of the coins. I have always loved Hulk. Hulk mad, Hulk sad. I think it's very cool indeed. And I do like the background with the, the Marvel Hulk there and that kind of cracked stone background, like he's been punching the wall and he's cracked the plaster work or something. So that's very cool. I do like the, the Hulk coin. But one thing that is interesting about it is that it's supposedly now the seventh release in the series. And that's got me confused. As I said at the start of the video, I've been looking on a few different uh, websites and um, yeah, they, they seem to all say six series up, up until Captain America or six in the series up until Captain America, and then we've seen the Hulk. So that's a little bit interesting. I mean, I don't really have a problem overtly with them continuing a series and extending a series, but, you know, there are some people out there who perhaps will have wanted to commit to a certain number of silver coins and purchases, and they saw this series, and they saw that it would be a series of six, and they thought that that would be right for them, and to have more coming out in the series, I think it puts a bit of a you know, puts a bit of a wallet strain on various different customers out there who might be wanting to collect these and have them as a complete set. You know, having a collection of coins is very important, especially if you are looking to sell them as a collection, as a set, uh, at the sort of later stages of owning them. So, you know, having the whole lot is important. I don't know whether there'll be more. I haven't really seen too much about the potential for the future of these or whether we've, I mean, because I haven't really followed this, the, the sort of, you know, the whole movie series I don't know if there's going to be another set but one thing that would be very cool is if there's a uh, a villains set of the Marvel Universe so we've got all of these heroes you know we've got all of literally all the heroes Spider-Man, Thor, Black Panther, Iron Man, Deadpool, Captain America and it would be very interesting to see a full rundown of all the villains like Loki and Thanos and all of that and I think that would be pretty cool so that might be a standalone sort of second series, perhaps, but, you know, the big movies are finished now, so the hype around those have gone, and that's something to factor in. I always look at these type of things in a kind of rule of... My rule of three is, I think, really interesting, uh, but there's always, like, this overarching, governing, uh, gut-feeling version as well that uh, I always use whether or not I'm going to collect a series and purchase a series. So, for me, the rule of three is mintage. Is it low? 50,000? Yes, I think that's a pretty low mintage in the grand scheme of things for a bullion coin. Next thing I look at is the aesthetics of them. Now, for me, the aesthetics of these are very pretty. There's no doubting that there's a lot of skill and effort that's gone into the design of these coins, and they look very cool. But they don't necessarily set the world on fire with uh, radical new designs or different, you know, minting technology. You know, I don't see them as being, like, you know, the most aesthetically pleasing coins in the world. However, they do have a huge kind of cult following, which is, of course, a very big plus in their uh, side and that's the third rule of my rule of three which is always whether or not there is going to be hype about them whether or not there's going to be a lot of people out there that will be willing to buy them or collect them or enjoy them and that is definitely something in their favor but the ultimate gut feeling for me was they're not quite right for me and my strategy and my collection I do think that they have because of that cult following you really are only going to be able to sell them to people who are keen on the Marvel series and, uh, you know, for someone like myself, I like Marvel, but I'm not I'm not going to throw lots of money into the series. You know, that's, I guess, my, my problem with this. Whereas things like the, uh, the Dragon and Phoenix or the Dragon and Tiger and the various other kind of, you know, Eastern themed coins that the Perth Mint will put out, I much prefer perhaps to take a gamble on those because I do think that that has a huge appeal to not only sort of the Eastern cultures of, uh, of coin buyers, but also the Western culture, which have this really big kind of obsession with those Eastern themed coins and those really interesting designs that come out from various different mints or, you know, really interesting. So that's my thoughts on these. Let me know your thoughts on them down in the, dis uh, in, sorry, in the comment section whether you've got them, whether you like them, whether you're going to get them, whether this video has inspired you to pick up these coins. They are high premium coins, that's one thing we haven't actually talked about today. The prices of these are pretty high, you're not going to get them for any kind of decent cheap price. If you can, you should be quids in, but if you can't, definitely something to factor in that they're going to be a high ticket item that's going to sit on your books for a while before you can look to perhaps sell them at a profit so definitely something to think about but let me know your thoughts down in the comment section if you enjoyed today's video please do let me know by hitting the thumbs up button if you're not subscribed to our channel make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to get notifications when future videos go live then please make sure you hit the alarm bell 
As for next week's episode, as you see, we've not got a sneak peek at the moment for next week. It's because I'm waiting on a few things to arrive from various community members, and hopefully they'll be here pretty soon, and by next week we'll be able to feature something very special. So we'll see you on the next episode of InFocus Friday. Otherwise, have a fantastic weekend ahead. Thank you one and all for watching, and please make sure you like, share, comment, and subscribe for more.